Hello everyone, I'm Russian Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2, playing, of course, as the Russian Empire. So right now, we're taking a good look. We have intellectuals uh, doing their stuff in Tver. But I've looked at our country, the Russian Empire, and overall, we have 3.1% of people who are intellectuals. That's pretty cool. But I'm thinking, clerks? We might be able to do something with clerks. Because clerks, they can help you with your factories, and they can also help you with your research points, which we really really want. Also, yesterday, I didn't miss this. I didn't realize it was a, a rebellion in Haiti. So, obviously, like the good people that we are, we must crush every rebellion who stands against us. And to Haiti. I'm glad I left a little feet here. So, I guess I'll just at least one comment, or just a couple comments from yesterday. Uh, I should annex Hawaii. Just go to war with Hawaii and annex them. I mean, I could. But we already have quite a few, quite a bit of infamy. I don't necessarily want Hawaii. I already took Hawaii when I played as Japan. It was cool. I mean, it doesn't do much for you. They're going to be... I already took Cuba and Guantanamo Bay from what the Americans could do. So, I mean, it'll be... Oh, there's 13% Russians in Guantanamo Bay. Oh, that's kind of cool. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to leave Hawaii to the Americans in this campaign. And someone also said I should leave, or I should take Micronesia. Eventually. That sounds like a good idea. I don't mind colonizing Micronesia. That sounds like fun. I'll probably do that eventually. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's see. Leadership looking almost optimal. And the world is pretty much there, I guess we'll say. Let's see. We're trying to build more armies in... Oh, they're going somewhere. I think they're going to Asia. Oh, so here's the goal. I want to take more of China. I love these treaty ports. This is the first campaign where I'm using HPM so I can take treaty ports. So I do want more treaty ports. I do want to get, like, other chunks of China as well eventually, because I just want to beat the snot out of the Chinese since we're here anyways. Uh, I would like to take out some of these places, too. Now, I, yesterday, I said that I wanted to do the great game. I actually didn't really research what that was all about, but we're, we're going to do it anyways, just to see what it's like, so that if you'd like to do it, if you ever play Victoria 2 HPM, and, and if you don't know what it does, then maybe I'll, we'll learn what it is together. I'm going to go ahead and put one person down here, Nukas. Nukas. Yes, and we're trying to get analytic, analytic philosophy, and we attack the enemy in La Vega, which is Haiti. National focuses, clerks are going to do well there. Uh, we almost have, we're almost done with the bureaucrats in some of these key locations, especially in Primori. Primori. Something like that. Uh, that's a region I clicked on, administrative sections. And we do have quite a few colonial points here. Oh. Prestige. Oh, yeah. Get that life rating in there. Get some more bureaucrats there. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Kazak. Oh, they're precious metals, too. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Lithuania should be done very soon. And so soon that I'm just going to keep this on. And they're done. Cool. Go ahead and put some bureaucrats there as well. Romania. Uh, I could start justifying on them. Hmm. But if we get caught, that's not good. And I do want to do more stuff in... Uh, Africa, Africa. Yeah, that's a place I want to go. Oh, yeah. It's Romania. Mecklenburg. At the very least, I would really like to see Germany, or at least the North German Federation. Oh, German Pan Nationals. That's kind of good to see in Hanover doing that. That's good. Maybe we'll see one eventually. Just so that we can get rid of some of the... Just, just a tiny bit of lag. Just, you know, I don't like to see Germany like this. As long as they're like, you know, a north and a south, that's kind of okay. Uh, execute them? Sure, why not? The Cubans don't mind us doing that. And it looks like Canada's looking pretty good. I do want to finish off the rest of Alaska, though. Uh, Montenegro. Eh, well, kind of okay for now. Montenegro. Oh, yeah, also. Oh, I guess France has a lot of brigades against, you know, Algeria. Congolese War? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Uh, Japan's a great power. They are a great power right behind Prussia. So, and we're allied with the French, which is always nice. Always nice. Good, good, good. If that's the case, establish friendly relations with the Japanese. We're already pretty friendly with them. I have no intention of attacking them yet. We'll probably be aware of them eventually, which means we need to have a big Pacific fleet. Also, another comment from yesterday was that, apparently, I could have switched parties around and went with the nationalist or reactionary one, which would have allowed us to actually make factories, so I could have constructed factories sooner than what we did yesterday. So I didn't know that. So, it's good to know that you might be able to switch your Russian, like, main party around. 
so that you can build factories earlier. So it is what it is. I mean, we're still in 22nd place, which isn't bad for like getting factories within the last three years. So that's really not too bad. Uh, good, good, good. Oh, more army speed. Great, great. Just, I'm going to make factories out the wazoo if I can. Obviously, I can't make factories, but I can expand them. And I can pay people to make more. I just want a higher score. That's all I want right now. And of course, maybe in time, they'll make some good factories. Instead of just, like, that stuff there, like, wine. Wine isn't super necessary. Uh, steel railroads, I love that. I really, we could really use social science, but, oh, that's so good. Colonial prestige. Revolution and counter-revolution unlocks a lot of stuff, including the Dark Continent, so I definitely want that. Oh, the great game. Advisors to the Russian government are warning that the British will continue their northward expansion. If we do not press south, Russia will soon have to its southern borders exposed to the European invasion. It does us no good to allow the British complete uh, hegemony over Central Asia. Something must be done. There remains a possibility. Oh, yeah. Oh, we get a free Cassus Bell, Cassus Bell line? Never bring this up again? Oh, heck yeah. Bukhara. Oh, that's why I put my guys here. And we just got more infamy. Actually, that's not too bad, though. It's, just, it's one infamy just to take these guys out. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to remove you from my sphere. And we're not doing that anymore. Same thing with you guys. Kiva. It is what it is. And budget-wise, let's do that. Let's do good, normal stuff. I really need to focus a little bit more on my navy. But then again, there's a lot of things I would like to do, and that we can't. Oh! Nukas? Can I get a railroad? We must be connected with each other. Moralist resurgence, great. And the moral fiber of our nation has thus degenerated now to the point where all the evils that want to plague a society are allowed free to reign and roam in ours. What we need, what we desperately must have is a moral resurgence in the Russian Empire. We must return to the old values, to the foundation, to the things that once made our country great. No more uh, prestige. A preacher in one of our states has started a small but locally potent organization dedicated to what claims as a much needed moral restoration of the Russian Empire. No doubt this organization is piggybacking on the ruling party's already established moralist policies, and on account of that, the ruling party could probably use this organization as a vital local ally. Spread the word. Rejoice. Spread the word. Spread the word. Alright, let's go to war. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. We need 42 war score to do this. That's okay. Yeah, something tells me we'll probably do okay here. I'm not even going to pay attention yet, just... They need money. I've got a little bit of money. Oh yeah, that's good. Build some steel factories. Oh, they got some investors there. Russia is open for business, my friends. Russia is open for business. Oh yeah, build up that ammo, ammo factory. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's good stuff. Alright, cool. Oh, rebels. Reactionaries. Yeah, well, that's pretty normal. I'm probably going to need two armies to take these guys out here. Oh, wow. My infamy is... How did that go up even further? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad they're blocked by Afghanistan, the Brits are. Which is nice. Oh, Romania. Oh, wait, they're nice. Romania, what's going on? Are there rebels there? Oh, no, that's United Baltic Duchy. And I can do Romania. Oh, nice, thank you. Yeah, they're going to need some help up there. It's fine. I can get rid of this army. Or at least, no, I can just throw in two more artillery pieces. They'll be fine. Kashari. Kashari. Oh. Hanover. Nice. Maybe I wait long enough. Maybe we'll get a free... Cassus Bella against these other nations? Perhaps? Get up there. I want to finish this before the end of the month. So we can get less infamy. Good. Great. Now you are part of us. Great. Uh, can I invest? No, that's okay. So we'll put you up here, Turkestan. And then what we're gonna do is hopefully pull off another army. Actually, you guys are really not great. Um, I get rid of that. Where is that symbol? Is it in Saint Petersburg? No, that's a naval one. We still have more armies in Asia here, which is okay. We have one. Ooh. Oh, what, what's wrong with you? Uh, Supply-wise... You know what? We can double them up right there. So here, we're going to need... Let's see... Really, you already have one extra. We need... We have six. I need four. Four more infantry. And seven artillery. Yeah. 
four more art infantry. Four more infantry. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and seven artillery. Very Ukrainian heavy right now. Four, five, six, seven. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely can't get any more infamy than that. So let's build up a few more armies. And in 1876, we can go back to war with Qing China, so we can take another port. Or just take them out. Or whatever. Ah, cool. Uh, people started colonizing. Uh, of course, the Congo's there. And Portugal's there. Uh, Transvaal. Yeah, they're pretty... The Dutch, Afrikaner, Boer, Boer. Sotho, Boer. Cool. Uh, just for funsies, there you go. Have some roads. Orange? Yeah, here, here have some roads. A Boer country. Uh, Persia, yes. Admiral's gone, whatever. Romanticist ought. That's cool. Come right there. Build up the railroads in Cuba. What does Cuba even look like? Oh, Serbia, yes. Afro Caribbean, which makes sense. Do I have any Russians? We got a few Russians down here, a few Russian bureaucrats. That's kind of cool. Or we could keep the one on. Let's double check out what is going on with our guys here. More bureaucrats, nice, very good. Ah, oh, good. They're done there. Probably put the bureaucrats over here. You guys are not done yet, and you guys are making clerics. Mazorsky's Boris uh, Goduno or Godunov was published and had its inaugural performance in, on February 8, 1874. Seeking to blend Russian folk music with the ideas of Richard, Richard Wagner, the opera aimed to present itself as a truly national form of music. Ah, yes. Yes. You have Germans, but we have Russians. Good. Clerks looking okay. Looking pretty okay. 0.4%. Nice, very nice. Intellectuals provide three research points. 3.17 of the population. 2% is optimal. We're trying to get more clerks. Too. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Now this is not optimal. Come on, man. We're just the peas kind of hanging out, having a good time with each other. And someone is killing off the Egyptians. Do we have reactionaries now, too? Oh, goodness. And Balti Ismail? Ismail? They're still doing pretty well down here. Oh, and I... I guess I threw on some... Oh, I wanted to make some divisions here, or brigades. Huh. Balti. Oh, the commissioned Japanese warship arrives. So the ship is built partly from iron and partly of steel, completely belted with 360 millimeters of armor with a 380 millimeter backing, and has a central battery armored with plates of 240 millimeter in thickness. The engines are two in number, horizontal, and the compound two-cylinder type, developing a horsepower of 6,000 over six over 6,000, which on the trial trip gave a speed of 14 over 14 knots. 510 tons of coal are carried in the bunkers, which at a speed of 10 knots should enable the ship to make a voyage of 2,800 nautical miles. The offensive power of the ship consists of seven breech-loading rifles, guns of 27 centimeters, weighing 24 tons each, six breech-loaded rifle guns of 14 centimeters, and machine guns of the Hotchkiss systems. Four of the 27 centimeters are in the central battery, two on each broadside, and three on the upper decks in barbettes, one on each side, amidships, and one aft. The warship was commissioned and is ready to arrive in one of our naval bases. Why do we get this? Wait, what the heck? We get technology flintlock rifles. I mean, I like flintlock rifles, but why do we get that? What the heck? Do I have a boat now? The GNCs. Niger Colony. Cool. Hmm. Wait, how do we get... How do we get them? Of oh, Tanutuva. One of the following must be true. Peace exists. It's either my sphere, or it's in the sphere of the puppet of us. And I have invented mass politics. Interesting. Capital Peking is on the continent. I can always spear these guys. That's fine with me. Let's go spear them then. Oh, I can't. Well, I have a truce for them. That makes sense. Duh. Alright, it's time for that period where we look for more roads to build. Just in case. Very good. Can I build roads here? Yes. Yes. Finland? Sure. You deserve a road or two. I was thinking about attacking Sweden too, but probably not. Probably really isn't, isn't really worth attacking Sweden. Uh, diplomatically, we're doing okay. Uh, 
Ooh. Sex Weimar? No, we good, man. We good. We good with the French. Pretty good with the Americans as well. Ah, uh, fine, Montenegro. Trans-Siberian Railway, after many arduous years of the final and most difficult stretch of the Trans-Siberian Railway, has been completed. This brings to completion the immense project linking St. Petersburg with Vladivostok, Europe at, with the Far East, a railway covering a third of the world through untracked wilderness. With future maintenance and expansion, it may be the key to Russian prosperity. Progress must continue. Look at that. Karborovsk gets more population growth and immigrant attraction as well as Vladivostok. Yes. Hot tally? Let's see. And that's us. Cool. Prussia's right behind us. And we're a little bit behind the Austrians, which I don't like. Build, build, build the great... Oh, here we go. Let's see. And this is for which country? Let's expand our factories, even though we don't have enough people in them. Yeah, prioritize that. That'll be important. Clothes sometimes are important. Good. 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 We're building a lot of ammo and artillery factories. I kind of like it. Pinsk. Smolsk. Tver. Ural. Fertilizers. Wine. Cool. It remains a possibility. Kiva. And since we have waited long enough, we have an appropriate amount of infamy still, too. Kiva. So you're under us. Coquelin. Kievan. Kievan. That's really not an ideal army. This is more of the ideal army. Let's get you guys over here. Because they might call in allies, including Persia, which really isn't ideal. Really not ideal. Oh, we got quite a few ships here, though. It's kind of nice. Probably none of them are really that good, but whatever. Go ahead and place these guys over here just in case. Let's go to war with Kiva. They might call in Copeland. They might not. Call allies. Montenegro will not accept. Neither will Afghanistan or Persia. But France will. Oh, Persia. That means I'm going to put you down later then. Hopefully. Oh, and we're at war with Copeland. Oh, that's okay. Good. Very nice. Yeah, let's get another one of these armies here. That'd be nice. Happy January 1875, my friends. St. Petersburg, your lady. Cool. More prestige. I love it. Let's get this done first, and then we'll come up here and destroy these guys first. That'd be good. Oh, they're busy killing out some more rebels. Uh, do we make that other army yet? They are almost done. They are moving to here, which is great. And Vladivostok. Greece. Hello, Greece. Yes. Well, I'm glad I avoided the Crimean War. I should have fired... Much earlier, but obviously it didn't. I wonder why we had 39,000 there. Kiva, thank you. Good. Tashkent. Ching, China. German North pa Well, good luck, sons. I know you own the Baltics, but, uh... You ain't gonna last very long doing that. And I just killed a bunch of German guys down there. Cool! Oh, yeah. My budget's still set to high. That's okay. Also, how's the industrialization going? Good, build. We need more numbers. The more numbers, the happier I become. Oh, and we got another thing right there. Colonial crisis. Oh, it's almost tea time. Even though I don't think Russians drink that much tea. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Oh, we've got revolution and counter-revolution pretty much done. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're going to go with social sciences. Even though I could do all of this stuff, I would love to do this stuff, but... Oh, hold on, hold on. Because it's time... It's almost time to scramble for Africa. I don't remember if HPM does it at the time of this recording. In 1870? I thought it was 1890 when people really started trying to colonize the area. But we really need colonial negotiations with breech-loaded rifles. So let's probably get breech-loaded rifles first down here. It shouldn't take an extreme amount of time to get down there, so... And we did get another national focus, which is nice. Clerics. Maybe 2% clerics in Moscow before I change them out. Yeah, I'm still going to wait for that. That's coming on very slowly over there. Uh, we're done with that. Good. That's still coming along. Nice, very nice. What other areas need more administrative good people? There. And we're back down to here again. So be it. Uh, Kiva. Oh, the war leader. 
Oh, Copeland's a war leader. For the, oh, Manchus expelled from Outer Manchuria. In 1875, I was quartered in Outer Manchuria, and an order came from St. Petersburg from the Manchus inhabiting the four frontier towns and villages be deported to the interior. It was said then that this was only a precautionary measure. I saw, at the time, large convoys of Manchus existing or exiting Outer Manchuria. They were mostly old men, women, and children. Some of the able-bodied men had been recruited in the Chinese army and had fled to Russia. The massacres had not yet begun yet. Later, an order came to deport to China all the Manchus in Outer Manchuria. The destination of all these Manchus is Ningguta. There, they kept crowded in all available vacant houses, temples, courtyards, and open lots. The condition in Ning. Uta is beyond description. I personally visited several of these places where they were kept and found them starving and dying off by the hundreds every day. Our efforts to expel the Manchu from the Outer Manchuria has paid off. Outer Manchuria is now closer to us than ever before for the glory of the Russian Empire. Ooh. Yeah, we we'll get some prestige from that, I guess. Poor Manchus, but oh well. Kiva becomes a puppet? Good. And we'll go to war with Kokolin soon enough as well. I'm going to keep you guys here too, just in case. Oh, finally. It's a state. And you're done with that. Cool, because I want to maybe start putting bureaucrats down here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we can do quite a few things. Hey, wait, what's integration of Finland? <gasps> I need mass politics. Yes! I love the Finns. They are my favorite some peoples. What does this say? So, we what do we do with this? Oh my goodness. So, the Russian press took up the topic of German influence in the Baltic provinces. As early as the 1860s, the Slavophiles demanded the end of the autonomy in the Baltic provinces and a standard, standardized administration. The unification of Germany and its subsequent development into a great power considerably increased the military strategic importance of the Estonian and Latvian territories which bordered the Baltic Sea, between the ex extensively autonomous Finland and the rebellious Poland Lithuania. The security of the capital St. Petersburg became a serious issue for the Russian Empire. So, as Russia's government circles were afraid of the Baltic Germans' possible orientation towards Germany, especially worrying was the thought that by Germanizing the Estonians and Latvians, the Germans could become the majority nation in the Baltics. Hmm. Sounds like someone should do a Kaiserreich playthrough on that with the United Baltic Duchy. And Russian removed from accepted cultures. Loses core, and I inherit them. And we've abolished the caucus names. Namstnik. Well, office of the caucus Namstnik was established after the Russian annexation of Georgia in 1801, although the scope of its jurisdiction eventually came to include eastern Armenia and lands abutting or abutting the western shores of the Caspian Sea. General Karl von Noring was first to assume this position, being officially titled as a commander-in-chief in Georgia and governor-general of Tiflis. The Viceroyalty later expanded to encompass the territories acquired by Russia in a series of wars with the Ottoman Empire, Persia, and local Caucasian peoples. Headquartered in Tbilisi, Georgia, the Viceroy's acted as a de facto ambassadors to neighboring countries, commanders-in-chief of the armed forces, and supreme civil authority, mostly responsible only to the Tsar. In which we get... Oh, we can inherit them too. Oh, but I lose my allies. That's kind of not cool. That's okay. In the Laodong... Laodong, at least. Uh, the Laodong Peninsula has a strategic position in the Korean Bay and would serve as an excellent naval base for our fleet. We can send a proposal for the owner of the peninsula to lease it to us, being extra coercive to show them how important for our continued friendship such an act of good will would be. Yeah, we'll see what happens. That's cool. Very, very cool. And do we have another one? Rename the rename Lu Shung. Uh well let's like to go a day first and see what happens if it pops up. It pops up. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Everything has to be open. More. Oh, oh, yeah, we took Latvia. Oh, that helped, oh, that helped our score. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Immediately give them some support. Wow, there's quite a few Germans here in Riga. Holy cow. Of course, most of the country elsewhere is not really German, of course. There's a lot of Estonians up here. In Rival. Nice. Oh, look at the Island Islands, too. That's awesome. <gasps> An ironclad. Oh, that's where the ironclad went. The Minin. I wonder where that was. Russian Turku. This is awesome. There's a lot of Germans here. Uh, can we do this now? Yes. Rename Lushun. A small port city known as the Chinese as Lushun, but the Japanese Ryojun and the Westerners as Port Arthur is now firmly in our hands, and nothing is better to demonstrate that than changing its name into something more close to our culture. Port Arthur. And building the Manchurian Railway. The treaty by which we control Port Arthur gives us a concession in Manchuria to construct a railway which would offer both a cheap shortcut to the Trans Siberian Railway as well as a railway link with Port Arthur, Arthur itself. It was money, railroad, more influence. God, playing as Russia is kind of fun. Lose a little bit of money. What's going on here? Let's turn this down just a wee bit. Keep construction high because I want to construct, construct, construct. 
And honestly, Prussia, you're looking really sad there. Oh, what do we have now? Commission of Warship? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because I could use it. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like that. Um... I had to, like, liberate some because I can't deal with all this infamy. Congress Poland, Crimea, Cuba, Estonia, Georgia, Haiti, Mo Lithuania, Moldova, Poland. Oh, I don't want to release anybody, though. Ural State? I can lower infamy, infamy by two. Uh, I don't want to do that, though. I, I do not want to take the risk of people... Like going to war with me to um contain me. I really don't want to try that. Ostrakhan, you know what? Dagestan, Chechnya. It's cheap. Santo Domingo, huh? It. What I'm thinking? Oh, two provinces? No thanks. I'm thinking here. Lantong. Well, actually, I, I I'll probably release this. This little group here. I really don't want to do that. Uh, who else is here? Kalimantan. It's only one though. Hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna save, and if anything goes bad, you'll see a fade in, fade out. Because I really don't want to liberate this stuff. That's why I I don't, I can't go to war with Hawaii and other stuff like that. I just have to play. It. Hope. I gotta hope. No one goes to war with me. So the Grand Duchy of Finland. Our subjects in Finland have become restless and resistance against attempts of Russification has been growing. Many within the Russian government believe that a restoration of the Diet of Finland and limited self-government for the nation is the only answer. This, however, will be seen as recognition of Finland as a country and will block any further attempts to try to Russify Finland through peaceful means. That's unnecessary. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't need that. I could, oh, that looks really nice. I could liberate Finland, but, mm, I, no, 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 no. The Finns are important people and we need them. Infamy goes down by how much? Just 0.09? Oh my god. Just two months. That's all we need. Two months. Please. Don't go to war with us. Okay, you got more prestige. That's nice. Let us build up another army. Uh, do we have... I need one more infantry, I guess. Or... Yeah, I need one more infantry. Anyone here got infantry? Uh, I'm really going to, have to click this button, aren't I? Oh, right there. No, wait, no, that's the wrong button. This is the right button. Cool, so we're going to build you there. And then I want to make another... I need to make more European armies. Put one here. And then we'll say... Oh, actually... No, don't do that. I want to make that one division, that one brigade first. Alright, guys, sorry about that, but, uh, basically... I, the reason I had to fade and fade out is because I got declared war on... Quite a few times by different people, and I was save scumming to make sure that I could get right below 25 infamy, which is. Whew, right now it's October 1st, 1875. Yeah, France declared war on me, as well as the UK, America, Austria. Pretty much everyone wants to go to war with you once you go over your infamy limit. Ooh, colonial provinces. Sure. Awesome. They're done with bureaucrats down there, which is great. What other place needs bureaucrats? Ooh, Russian Sakhalin. Most definitely, my friends. Most definitely. And this area obviously needs more bureaucrats. It's okay. Oh, I forgot we did take this area as well. Which is awesome. They might not like us, but I don't really care. They're going to be with us whether they like it or not. Uh, Georgian Sephardic. I don't know anything about those cultures. Um, cool. I guess we put you down here, though. You got a port. Yay, ports. So, let's see. I'm trying to build up that one brigade here. Here? Was it here? No, where was that one brigade I wanted to build? Was it here? Was it there? Where the heck is it? Oh, it must have went somewhere else because I must have put a recruitment thing on, right? Over there. Okay, I don't know where it went, so I'll just build one more infantry. Screw it, because I still want to make a bigger army. Make it in Asia. That looks pretty good. Cool, we're, making, we're losing money now, huh? Lower the cost just by a little bit, and we're doing better with money. Uh, Persia, I guess for now it's fine. Whatever. Ottomans, I could invest in the Ottomans. They are secondary power. They're allied with Prussia and Romania and the Netherlands. Interesting. Ooh, good, we got that, which is awesome. 
and to colonize if we really wanted to. Egypt is looking pretty darn th you know, thin, snaky. On the UK constructed the Suez Canal. God dang it. Whatever. Uh, we need breach loaded rifles next. Better combat with, and let's build guards. I love guards. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, anything else around here? Hello! Oh, socialists. Why? France. You're allied with Austria. Oh, they have Spain and Belgium in their sphere. Hmm. Why did you break my lot? Uh, what the heck? That we were buddies. Why do we have socialists rising up? Prussia. Is Prussia really good to ally with? They might not be. They're allied with these guys. I mean, we could tag team Austria pretty easily, probably, but then we do deal with the French. It might be worth getting an alliance with Italy then. To help contain the French. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. And of course, we have Polish nationals. Why are you guys rising? There's not that much militancy or consciousness here. Doesn't make any sense. I need more armies down here, too. Oh. Oh, if that's the case, you know what? Just. I don't care about the budget. Just put them down. So, shall we host a regional trade fair? Oh, yeah. Put them down. Put them down. And this is why I need more armies. I need a ton of armies, actually. I'm... What's a supply? Uh, I'm gonna make a 60 sack here. The Port Arthur Treaty Port. Yes! I keep forgetting about Port Arthur. Oh, that's not good. We lost against Rebels? Where's that? Oh god, Poland. Oh my god, the Poles. Are you serious right now, Poland? Oh no, those are socialists. And that's a lot of Poles down there. Go ahead and put them out as well. They left. Stupid game. Why are you lagging? Come on. Get in there. Good. Uh, sure, Afghanistan. Sure, why not? Kill them off. Don't let them get anything else. The regional trade fair is open. Great. I love the prestige. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose Warsaw. Don't want to lose the poles. I need the poles. Yeah. I'm definitely going to need to make a 60 stack for an army. Come on, just make me those artillery factories. That'd be great. I would like to get more puppets too. I think it'd be kind of nice. But I just I have to say a piece for now. I can't go to war with anyone. Unless we go to like we're allied with Prussia, we might go to war with Austria, France, and them. Smash them pretty well. The Manchurian Railway, great. The Treaty of Vladivostok Railway Line through Manchuria has been completed. It will serve as a useful shortcut for the Trans-Siberian Railway and the South Manchurian Railway Line. Running between Port Arthur and Harbin, and will allow Port Arthur to be well supplied and naval base and a major trade port. Great! Good. Build, 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 my friends. And everyone keeps destroying my lines. Not like I've been. Not like my government's been flipped at all. Alright, so is that group finally done? Oh my god, seriously. Like, what's going on? Cheetah, hurry up. Cheetah, you're taking forever. Alright, good. So, we, it seems like we put down the rebels, which is good. Let's lower that by some as well. Oh, Christian French warship arrives. An ironclad. Cool. Anything else? Commission of warship. Warship delivered. Integration of Finland, of course. Return to Third Rome. Awesome stuff, my friends. Awesome. Bureaucrats. Ah, uh, how are the clerks doing here? Well, they're point zero point five point five. That's not bad. North Caucasia is done. That's not bad. Over here. That's good. And more bureaucrats over here. I would do. I did put bureaucrats down here. So I'm. I'm glad I didn't have to release anyone here. That's kind of good. Oof. Oof. Oh, Carlos Spain broke their alliance. Okay. Well, whatever. You guys are not my, with me. You guys are with me, which is nice. Definitely want to take them out. Hopefully we get another uh, modifier to take those guys out. Alright, yeah. After that rebellion, I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going to go on now? And actually, let's get rid of this. I'm going to make probably two 60 stacks here. Uh, build one in Warsaw, just in case that happens again. So, we need to double up everything. Oh, we got engineers too. Nice. Let's see. So, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get a hussar. I'm building a lot of Ukrainians. And we'll get uh one oop, we'll put two in. And then get eight. 
All right, I need something a little more Russian here right now. That's Ukrainian. Yeah. All right, that's not bad. Not bad. Good investments are good. We need death stacks sometimes. Well, near the end of the game, we're definitely going to need some death stacks. Good, great, great. Oh, we can get machine guns. Oh, French Algeria has really expanded. God dang it, I don't know if I can get to them. I want to do so much in these campaigns. But I can never get that far enough. Hmm. We don't even have a port in range. Let's build this area up, too. Nice. Gateway to new lands. Treaty port. Chinese treaty port. Nice. Still, more education efficiency. That's just what we got to do. We're still less than 50% of our people can read. Which is really, really not ideal. Bring us prosperity? Sure. Maybe a few more railways right here. Maybe. That might be very useful for us. So that we could use it eventually. Alright, let's keep good relations with everyone. I don't know why you don't like me. Is it because of my infamy? It might be because of my infamy. Austria. Oh, we are number four in the world. We're no longer behind Austria, which is great. Japan... Italy? Why don't you want an alliance, man? UK. Form an alliance. They, of course, they will not accept. That's okay. Show wars. No wars going on right now. Where are they allied with? Netherlands. Canada, of course. That makes sense. Sweden. Huh. Cool. Let's just wait for infamy to get down a little lower. Have a good time. Breach loaded rifle armaments. Great. Actually, do I have a port here? Or not? How do I not have a port here yet? What the heck? I need machine parts. Oh, no. Uh, machine parts. It's been literal decades since we've gotten that, I think. I can't see. I. Oh. No, 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 no. There you go. Why, did I not, why would I not buy any? What the heck? Build, build, build. Oh, nice. Very good. Oh, I thought we were building maybe just a little bit. Can we buy any more machine parts? Machine parts are probably going to be a little difficult to acquire. Mm, there they are. We're slowly getting a stockpile, which is great. Ah, we're finally... But I don't know why we weren't building that up yet. You know what? I need bureaucrats here, too. Mazovia. Um, just... Sakalin. We can wait. We can wait on Sakalin. Great. So, we can create a thing here. Nice. Awesome. The bureaucracy will go up a little higher eventually. I'm going to keep doing this just because it's a cheap way for us to do it. I could build it for ourselves, but I actually don't really have the means to do so. Since I don't have it researched, so. Carl of Spain and Ottoman Empire. That's a, that's a weird thing. Oh, secret police. I like the secret police. That's always good. 40% is awesome. Let time go on. Just a little bit more. Uh, I really want to go to war with other people. But I definitely got to go to war with Copeland. But I still want another thing from the Chinese Empire. Go back to work immediately. To fruit? Turkestan's current production. No, Turkestan's right here. They're currently making goats. Oh, no, no. Get some, give me some fruit. We keep importing lots of fruit. Even though we import goats as well. Whatever. Good. Keep going with that. More bureaucrats for now. That'd be okay. That'd be very nice. Yeah, hey, we're third in the world now. Nice. Over 100 uh, industrial score. Great. Build, 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 build. Armour, very nice. I doubt I'll ever be able to catch up to, like, the UK or the United States. But I can try. I can definitely try. And if we, if we try to invade them and beat them up and then occupy their lands, then we can lower the score. Russian patriots. We've been contacted by Russian patriots, currently living under the dominion of a neighboring country. They suggest that there is an opportunity to start some sentiment among those living there, so they may rise up and rejoin the motherland. There is, of course, a risk that our efforts could be discovered and bring war upon us. Should we help them? Free our brethren and Tanutuva. Spreading dissent. 25%. Okay, well, whatever. Ah, Tanutuva. Nice. Oh, Citizens Guard. So. Oh, boy. Good. 1878. Not bad. Minsk. Ninetsia. 
Or should not go to Oh my god, come on man. Don't give me that. That's a lot of rubble, so just in case I'm gonna boost you guys up a little bit. Just wanna play factory simulator, man. What's wrong with y'all? Oh my god, it's it's in the Ukraine, Belarusian, somewhat Polish, Lithuanian groups. Ah, uh, this is what I was worried about a little bit. Playing as Russia. Oh, and there goes my budget. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at you. Nice. Go in and put him out of the misery. And don't do it in Warsaw now. Build it in... Siaului. I want another 20 stacks. So, two... And then we're going to make... Uh, oh, Ukrainian guards, sure. Uh, that's too many guards for me. Let's go with infantry. And get a horse. Nice. More armies, the better. Oh, look at that. Okay, I don't care about the stupid rebels. I, don't, I really don't care about them. Awesome. Good, good. Good. They're doing well, pretty pretty well there. Thank you, more bureaucrats over there. Moscow's having a good time. Good. Anywhere else? Nice. Oh, do we have rebels? What's going on down here? Bureaucrats, of course, that's going to take forever to do. Rebels down here? No? Hmm. The way we like it. I need better roads, too. The Heart of Darkness. Oh, wait. What? what we get this? And it was the only time when I saw how they treated them. That I... There was this one child. I remember him well. Eight, maybe nine. They all quotas for how much to pick each day. And that one day, he didn't fulfill his. Don't ask me why. His hands. The Russian is in shock as a major European newspaper published a report today on the conditions in one of her colonies. What? Brutal mistreatment of natives, corporal punishment, and repeated instances of bodily mutation, mutilation have been established means of maintaining the colonial order in the colony, in mines, and so on plantations which have been kept outside the influence of the colonial office through an elaborate system of bribes and corruption. Oh... Full responsible? In Alaska? Oh, hell no. Oh, look at that, we are... Just when you think you're out of the blue, you're, you're good to go with your infamy. No, no, we're not. We, we're just literally 0 0.01 away from having war declared upon us. But I think that'll end today's episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, uh oh, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we put down the rebellions in Shanghai and have a good time slowly ending the 19th century. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.